With all 52 beginner's guides now completed for Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, there are a few more videos I want to do before I most likely finish up with the game. That's of course unless Team Ninja decide to bring out a Season Pass 2 or any additional characters or anything like that. If that was to happen, you can rest assured I would be there covering it day one. But the video I'm wanting to do today is one that I see a lot of questions about. It's costumes for characters. So what I'll be doing is showing off every single costume that's in the game at the moment. There's a, a huge amount, I think with the, the recolouring, there's probably something like over 200 costumes, but I'll show you all of those costumes, but most importantly, I'll actually tell you where you unlock them as well now. It's going to be a pretty long video, I imagine, so what I'll do is I'll put in timestamps, so if there is a certain hero you want to see the costumes for them, or if you want to find out where to unlock their costumes, then you can just click the timestamp to jump to that section. Now, before we go in and start off with the first character, I will say that many of the costumes are in the shield depot they don't always show up straight away if that is the case and in this video i tell you that it is in the shield depot then go into the shield depot click the right stick a few times that's the right thumb stick and then your store should update and you should see the costume in question but the first character we'll start off with here will be black panther with us having so many heroes to cover, I won't actually show off the base costumes at all, just to save a bit of time. I'll show off the alternative recolouring in the base costumes, and then I'll show off the brand new costumes as well. Now, starting off then, as mentioned, we have Black Panther. This is the alternative recolouring in the base costume. This is unlocked via the Sigma Infinity Rift. We then have the Thrice Blessed Armour costume. Bit of a strange name, but this one does look nice, but possibly other ones I would have preferred. This is unlocked via the Shield Depot, and the same applies for the recolouring of this one as well. Let's just quickly bring that up there. So there we go, decent enough costume, but I think I probably prefer the base costume. But let's check out the next character now. The next character we have here then is Black Widow. Now this white version of our base costume is unlocked by getting 16 stars in the Gamma Infinity Rift, so it's one of the first costumes you unlock in the game. We have Yelena Belova next. This one looks awesome. It's one of my favourite costumes for Black Widow and Marvel Heroes. This one here is unlocked via the Shield Depot. Same goes for the alternative recolouring. I think I possibly prefer the alternative recolouring, but they both look absolutely great. We have Blade Up next. He's wearing his pimp costume here, as I like to call this one. This is unlocked via the Curse of the Vampire Gauntlet. It is the later stages, so you need to really grind to get there. We then have the classic look for Blade. I actually really pretty like this one because it's something really different they went for. I do like the San Francisco look, which is essentially the, the default costume without the jacket, but this one, I do like they went for something pretty different. So this is unlocked via the Shield Depot. Same applies for the recolouring that we'll bring up here. There we go. I think I prefer the green one out of the classic costumes, but that is Blade. And we've got Cable next. First costume we have for Cable then is the recolouring of his default, and I would say this is my favourite costume of his. This is unlocked via the Rise of the Phoenix Gauntlet mode. We then have the classic look unlocked via the Shield Depot. I'm not a fan of this one at all. Don't like his style, don't really like the, the colourings of it either. And then we've got the classic alternative. A little bit better, but still not a huge fan of it. But there we go, that's Cable, let's check out next character. Captain America is up next, this is unlocked via the Gamma Infinity Rift, this look potentially could be from the, the Winter Soldier because it's a darker costume he's wearing. The alternative which is Super Soldier, which is a really nice looking one and it's got a special visual effect on the shield, is unlocked via the Shield Depot for 400 of your tokens, the same applies for the alternative recolouring. They both actually look great and I like that they have went to the effort of making the, the shield different in this costume. We have Captain Marvel up next. Alternative recolouring here could actually be similar to the Kree colours. This particular one is unlocked by getting 32 stars in the, the Gamma Infinity Rift. So again, it's a very early on costume you will unlock. We then have one of my favourite costumes in the game, the Miss Marvel. Original colouring unlocked via the Psy Infinity Rift. That's the one that came with the Cyclops and Colossus free DLC. Looks amazing this one. The rift is pretty difficult, so if you need a hand on it, I have got a video for that, so check that out. And then we've got the alternative recolouring, available via the Shield Depot. Looks pretty nice, but I do think I prefer the, the base colouring, but either way, it does look pretty amazing. 
We have the big man himself next, Colossus. This costume, the recolouring of his base costume, is unlocked via the Psy Infinity Rift. That's the same one you actually went in to get the Miss Marvel original costume as well. So we've got Age of Apocalypse, accessible via the Shield Depot for 400 tokens. Looks really nice and it's really quite different, this one. The recolouring, I'm not too sure about this one here, but we've got the base colouring anyway. So that's Colossus, the next character will be Crystal. First costume we have here for Crystal is the alternative recolouring. There's not a lot of difference between this and the base costume. This particular one will be unlocked as you're playing through the superior story mode. We then have the costumes that come from the Shield Depot, the Avengers costumes. This one actually looks really great. I do like this one. There we go. That looks absolutely awesome, that one. And then we've got the alternative recolouring, and this also comes via the Shield Depot. There we go. Both look pretty great, to be honest. The next character we have is Cyclops, and like Colossus, who we've already covered, the alternative costume is unlocked via the Psy Infinity Rift. We have the Astonishing X-Men costume next. This one looks great. Unlocked via the Shield Depot. There we go. It looks pretty awesome, that one. And then we've got a, a nice red recolouring of it here. I believe this ties in with possibly is it the Phoenix Force costume. I think it's called. It's supposed to look slightly like that, but it does look really nice anyway. The other is the next character we have. This one is unlocked via the, the story mode. And again, it has to be the superior difficulty. Once you're playing through that, you will get it. We have Man Without Fear next, and I believe when I actually done the beginner's guide for Daredevil, this was the costume I was looking to get, and we did get it, so this looks great. It's unlocked via the Shield Depot, and then we have the Man Without Fear with the original colourings from Daredevil, that's mustard and the red colour. This actually looks really nice as well, this one. And then we have the character with the most amount of costumes in the game is Deadpool. Now the first recolouring, which is actually great because it looks like the X-Force costume. This is unlocked via the Lambda Infinity Rift. We then have the Taco Knight costume. This was a pre-order exclusive. Let's bring this up here. If you've missed this one, you can get the recolouring by getting a, a sexy 69 stars in the Omega Infinity Rift. There you go. That's the recolouring there. And then we have that Battle of the Atom costume. This is currently in an in-game event called Glorious Gauntlet. If you miss it, I imagine it will go to the Shield Depot. That's where the majority of the event costumes go once the events are actually over. And then finally, you've got the recolouring of that. This one can be bought via the Shield Depot for 400 of the Shield tokens. So that's Deadpool. Fair amount of costumes there for him. Let's see who's next. We have Doctor Strange up next. The alternative recolouring of his base costume is unlocked via the Sigma Infinity Rift. That is a solo trial. You then have the, the blue mage and what is essentially the red mage for the alternative costumes. This one looks absolutely amazing. I do love it. However, I prefer the recolouring, which is the red one. So both of these can be gained via the Shield Depot. But this one here looks absolutely incredible. It's just a pity that Doctor Strange to play is really pretty lacklustre. We have the one and only Doctor Doom next. This costume, which is essentially the God Emperor costume, a recolouring of his base one, is gained by completing the Shadow of Doom DLC on superior difficulty. We then have Doom 2099. This is unlocked via the, the Shadow of Doom gauntlets. Looks pretty decent. And you've got this one here, which is one of the hardest costumes to unlock in the game. It's a Shadow of Doom gauntlets, but it's level 270 gauntlet. You need to complete it around about two and a half times. So this will probably be the last costume that you will unlock in the game. We have our first Guardians of the Galaxy character here with Drax. This one is unlocked via the Superior Story Mode, and I suppose it's a bit of a nod to the colouring of Drax in the MCU, because he has more of a grey rather than a bright green colour. We've then got his Shield Depot costumes, it's the Conquest look. Here we go here. I do like it, but I'm not quite sure about whatever it is he has on his head. And then we've got a simple recolouring of it here. So there we go, that is Drax. Electra's up next, her alternative recolouring of her base costume. You need to get 48 stars in the Gamma Rift, so once again it's a very early costume that you will unlock. It's not too different from the base one, but then we have her ultimate costume. It looks absolutely awesome. I really do love this one. There we go. Looks absolutely great, that one. And then you have the recolouring. Both of these, I should say, are available via the Shield Depot. And there's the recolouring. Looks incredible. I think I possibly do prefer that. really like that costume. 
We have Elsa Bloodstone next. Her costumes, I think, are a bit disappointing, unfortunately. The first one we're looking at, the recolouring of the default costume. This can be unlocked by getting 25 stars in the Lambda Infinity Rift. We then have the Zombie Hunter costume. You get this from the, the Shield Depot, this particular one. It's not really that different from the, the base costume. That's why I find it a little bit disappointing. Same applies for this one here. There we go. So that's the costumes for Elsa. Let's check out the next hero. Falcon is next. The recolouring of his default costume, which actually looks really nice. You can get this via the Lambda Infinity Rift. It's a solo trial. We've then got the ultimate costume. This is accessible via the Shield Depot. The same goes for the recolouring as well. Pretty awesome looking costume, actually. Here we go for the recolouring. It's not too different. There we go. So nice enough costumes, those ones. We have the Raging Cajun himself. The default alternative costume is unlocked via the Rise of the Phoenix Gauntlet. I believe it's a level 70 one, so it's relatively early on. Looks really nice, this recolouring, actually. And then we have Age of Apocalypse next. As is the case with most of the, the completely new costumes, it is the Shield Depot. You'll find this one. Looks nice. I wasn't sure at first, but it certainly has grown on me. And then we've got the recolouring, which actually looks pretty good as well. So there we go. That is Gambit. Next we have Gamora, who could have potentially one of the, the worst recolourings in the game. It just looks like someone's turned down the, the brightness a little bit. Really disappointing. However, the next costume makes up for it. But in order to unlock this one, if you're looking to get it, it's the Psy Infinity Rift where you would get that. But we've got Conquest up next. Here we go once it loads. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. You'll get this one in the Shield Depot. The recolouring actually looks really nice as well. I'm not sure which one I prefer. There we go, they look great. So that's the costumes for Gamora. The Spirit of Vengeance is up next. The default costume actually looks great. The recolouring looks really nice as well. You unlock this through the superior story mode. And then we have Ghost Racers up next. This particular one unlocked via the Shield Depot. Really is pretty different. The recolouring, not quite sure on the colours of it. But here we go, there's that one there. We now have my boy Clint. The recolouring of the default costume is really disappointing. It's hard to actually see a difference from the original one you unlock this. We're getting 17 stars in the Sigma Infinity Rift. The alternative costume, however, more than makes up for it. It's accessible via the Shield Depot. It's a Ronin costume from Endgame. It looks absolutely incredible. I say from Endgame, it is from the comics as well. The recolouring, which I wasn't sure about when I play it in game, is actually really nice as well. Absolutely awesome costume. We have Hulk next, and again, this is a very early costume that you will unlock. This is via the Gamma Infinity Rift, and it makes sense thematically as the, the Grey Hulk. This is the colour he actually was before he did turn green. And then we have Planet Hulk. This is via the Psy Infinity Rift. It is pretty difficult to get, but it looks absolutely amazing, this one. And then you can get the Red Hulk variant. Not quite sure about it. I like the Gladiator look, but I don't really like the Gladiator and Red Hulk. For me, it doesn't really do it for me, but you can get this one via the Shield Depot. We have our first Fantastic Four character next. That is the awesome Human Torch and the default costume he's got. It changes from blue to red with the recolouring. You unlock this via the Shadow of Doom story mode. It has to be on Superior, I should mention. And then we've got the Future Foundation costume unlocked via a very high level gauntlet. I think it's around about level 250 plus, but it does look really nice. And then we've got a space here, which at the time of this video, there is no costume. If by the time I do this video after I do it, we actually get an announced costume or we get this filled out, then I'll leave a comment in the description below to let you know what it is and where you actually find it. The first costume we have for Iceman then is unlocked via the Rise of the Phoenix gauntlet mode. I'm not a huge fan of this, but I'm not a huge fan of the base costume in the first instance. And the alternative costume as well, it's just a bit too similar, to be honest. But this one is the all-new X-Men costume. You get this via the, the Shield Depot. Same goes for the recolouring as well. But overall, I think these costumes are really pretty disappointing. We're back to the Fantastic Four. You've got the alternative costume for Invisible Woman. Looks absolutely great. This is unlocked via the Shadow of Doom Superior Story Mode. And then we have the Future Foundation costume, which is unlocked the same way as Human Torch. is unlocked via an in-game gauntlet for the Shadow of Doom once again. And then we've also got the, the slot here that at the time of this video hasn't been filled yet. 
everyone was kung fu fighting next with this Iron Fist variant. It looks really nice. This one you unlock via the superior story mode. And then we've got the modern look, which is quite similar to his base look, but it still is pretty sweet. This one you unlock via the shield depot. Same applies for the recolouring. Show that off as well. There we go. There's the recolouring there. So that's Iron Fist. We have Iron Man next. This recolouring could actually be the stealth suit. It's certainly very similar to it. You need to get 51 stars in the Psy Infinity Rift to unlock this. Then we have the Extremis Armour. This is one of the first costume packs we actually got. This is unlocked by the Shield Depot. Looks a little bit basic, but when you get to the recolouring of it, this one again is unlocked by the Shield Depot. It looks really nice. Yeah, really do like that one. God of Mischief Loki is next, and I actually really like this recolour, and I probably prefer it to the base costume. This is unlocked by getting 51 stars in the Sigma Infinity Rift. We then have Kid Loki, really not a fan of this costume, and someone once pointed out the reason it looks so odd. He's got the same size as the adult Loki, but in a, a kid's body. It just looks really strange, this one. You unlock this via the Shield Depot. Here's the recolouring. Not that different, it still looks really odd. Here we go, that's Loki. Not a fan of that at all. Just do not like that. Sweet Christmas, it's the Power Man Luke Cage alternative colour in here is unlocked via the Psy Infinity Rift. It's a solo trial. We didn't have the Power Man costume, so it's great to see that was included in the game. Unlocked via the Shield Depot. This one looks great. Recolouring I'm not too keen on, but the base colouring of it does look pretty fantastic. There's the recolouring there. Magneto is next. This one here, the recolouring of the base costume is unlocked via the, the Lambda Infinity Rift. We then have the modern costume, I think this is called Marvel now as well potentially. Unlocked via the Shield Depot. That's probably my favourite out of all of them. And then we've got the, the white variant of it as well. Once again, it is the Shield Depot. So that's Magneto. Miles Morales is up next to unlock this one, the recolouring of the base costume. It's 50 stars in the Lambda Rift that you'll need to get. And then you've got the alternative costume. This one looks absolutely great. It looks like the Into the Spider-Verse costume. This is unlocked by the Shield Depot. Really like this. Then you've got the recolouring, which looks nice as well, but I do prefer the, the base colours of it. But there we go, that's Miles. We have our third Fantastic Four character with Mr. Fantastic. His costumes are unlocked the same way as the other characters. So you've got the red variant unlocked via the superior story mode for the Shadow of Doom DLC. And then we have the Future Foundation costume which is unlocked via the Shadow of Doom gauntlet. And once again, you can see we've got a, a slot there for a potential future costume. We have definitely not Batman next. This alternative recolouring actually looks absolutely amazing. This is unlocked via the gauntlet and I'm a, a real big fan of this one. We've then got the, the completely different costume, although it doesn't look that different to be honest. I would have preferred to see Mr. Knight, but this is unlocked via the Shield Depot. Here we go for that there. Looks decent, but the one before looked far better. This red recolouring does actually look pretty nice though. And there we go there. I do think I prefer the first one. We actually looked at though. We have another Curse of the Vampire character here. This time it is Morbius. Alternative recolouring which just changes really from black to red is unlocked via the gauntlet again. It's one of the last ones you unlock and it is of course the, the Curse of the Vampire gauntlet. It's the same for Moon Knight as well. It is the Curse of the Vampire gauntlet. You need to get that. Here's the Midnight Suns costume unlocked via the Shield Depot. Not too keen in this however this different recolouring of it actually looks really nice. I think it's probably my favourite costume for Morbius, this one. Looks really great, makes him look really menacing. We have the Spin to Win King next, Miss Marvel. The recolouring is unlocked by getting 17 stars in the Psy Infinity Rift. And then we have the Streetwear costume, looks pretty nice this one. Unlocked via the Shield Depot once again. So many are locked behind that, so you really need to get farming those tokens. Here's the recolouring of it. Both of them do look pretty nice. I probably prefer them over the base costume, to be honest. We have a few X-Men characters to look at here now. So we've got Nightcrawler first. This alternative recolouring of his base costume is unlocked by getting 34 stars in the Sigma Infinity Rift. And then we have his Shield Depot costumes. This is the House of M. This one looks absolutely amazing. I'm not too keen on the recolouring, but this one looks fantastic. Here is the recolouring. Not a fan of that at all, but the previous one did look pretty amazing. 
We have the Phoenix up next, and this costume goes perfect if you've got the Phoenix Force ISO equipped on. Or this one is unlocked via the Rise of the Phoenix Gauntlet. It's the final one, the level 180 stage. And then we have Marvel Girl, costume I wasn't sure about, but I actually really pretty like it. Unlocked via the Shield Depot. Here's the base colour. I think I actually prefer the recolour in here. And there we go, the one in white. It does look really pretty nice, certainly very different. We have another X-Men character with Psylocke, she looks incredible as it is. The recolouring is pretty nice, but it's when we get to the alternative costumes, they really look incredible. But this recolouring is accessible via the story mode, you have to play it in superior difficulty once again. Then we have another House of M costume, Shield Depot. Amazing looking. And then we've got a recolouring, which is actually really nice, I can't decide which one of the two I prefer. They both look fantastic. I think I actually prefer this one, looks really amazing. Back to the Curse of the Vampire characters once again, the recolouring for Punisher, it's unlocked via the Curse of the Vampire gauntlet. And then we have the Age of Apocalypse costume which is unlocked via the Shield Depot. Don't know how I feel about this but it's certainly very different looking. Possibly, if anything, I prefer this recolouring, the red one. There we go there. Yeah, definitely very different costume that one. We have possibly my least favourite character or characters to play in the game next, it's Rocket and Groot, the recolouring of their base costume you unlock via the superior story mode, and then we've got the Conquest costume next, we just got this recently and this is available via the Shield Depot, I do like this one, I do like Groot having a costume on as opposed to running around stark bollock naked, here we go for the, the recolouring of it, here we go, once again you get that via the Shield Depot. We then have, sadly, a very weak character in the game, Scarlet Witch. Now, you unlock this particular recolouring of her base costume via the superior story mode, and then we have the classic costume, so it was nice to see that getting an inclusion. Unlocked via the Shield Depot. Not sure if the recolouring as well, both of them look nice to be honest. Here we go, that's Scarlet Witch. It's better going up next, you unlock this costume, which I'm not too keen on, by getting 34 stars in the Psy Infinity Rift. The Shield Depot costumes are Gwenum, looks completely awesome. There we go, looks great that one. And then you've got the recolouring as well, which actually looks really nice as well. They both look great. There we go, that's Spider Gwen. This next costume was unlocked nice and early when a lot of people got this alongside the costumes for Captain Marvel and also Black Widow and they were only recolourings. Unfortunately we realised that it was just recolourings that were in the game at that point in time with the exception of Deadpool Tackle. Deadpool that is. To unlock that you get it via the, the Gamma Infinity Rift anyway, nice and early. Then we have the Symbiote suit, so you need to get 30 stars in the Phi Infinity Rift, that's the one that released with the X-Men update for Cyclops and Colossus, that was a free update. And then we have this one here, which looks really nice, and you'll get this via the Shield Depot, so that could be, is it Scarlet Spider I think? Sometimes I get my spiders confused because there are so many of them. We have our final Guardians of the Galaxy character, it is the awesome Star-Lord, this costume here, the recolouring of his base costume is unlocked via the Lambda Infinity Rift, it's a solo trial where you go up against Thanos but it's really not that difficult at all. Then we have the Conquest costume, that's what the majority of the Guardians have as their alternative costumes, unlocked via the Shield Depot, here's the base colours and here's the recolouring as well. There we go, that's Star-Lord. Storm is next with an absolutely awesome costume and locked via the superior story mode. This reminds me of the 80s look for Storm, so I really like this. And then we've got the, the punk look unlocked via the Shield Depot. Probably preferred the, the recolouring of her base costume. Here we go. Here's the recolouring of this one as well. I don't think I'm too keen on it, to be honest. I far prefer the first one we looked at. So we have two versions of Thanos in the game, Thanos and Thanos Infinite, but they actually share the same costumes, the only difference is the gauntlet, but it is the same costume and how you unlock it. This one here, recolouring of his base costume, you need to get 75 stars in the Lambda Rift, so you need to 3 star every single node there. We've got the Far Superior Annihilation costume, absolutely love this one, unlocked via the Shield Depot, 400 tokens, and here's the recolouring bit. As is the case with many costumes, the base colourings do look the best. 
We're getting there then because we have our final Fantastic Four character as well now. So this one here, the red recoloring is unlocked via the Shadow of Doom story mode and once again it has to be on Superior. You play through it and then we have the Future Foundation costume unlocked via the Shadow of Doom gauntlet. And then finally, once again, for another Fantastic Four character, we have a mystery potential costume in future. The God of Thunder is up next. This one is unlocked via the Superior Story Mode. And then we have the awesome looking Ultimate Four costume. One of the, the first proper alternative costumes we got. You can buy this at the moment in the Shield Depot. I think I probably prefer the recolouring that we're about to show off here. Yeah, I would say I prefer that one. It does look absolutely great. Venom is up next, this costume's really disappointing, it's not that different at all from his base costume, it's unlocked when you're playing through a superior story mode. We do however have Anti-Venom, that looks great, unlocked via the Shield Depot, and then this recolouring would make him Toxin I believe if that's right. Kind of looks like a Hydra version of Venom though with the colours there, once again you get this via the Shield Depot. Two more characters to go then, we have Wasp, the alternative costume, it's not that different from our first one, the colours just seem to be inversed, it's the superior story mode, classic costume, looks really nice, you get it via the Shield Depot, then you've got the recolouring of it as well, both of them actually look really great, I wasn't sold on them at first but they definitely grew on me these costumes, I do like the colours particularly, or this one here. And at last we have the, the final costume, this took way longer than I did expect, but we've got Wolverine, this is unlocked via the Sigma Infinity Rift, I would have preferred to see the, the grey recolouring, so you could have went for an X-Force look with him, and then maybe give that to Psylocke as well, instead of what we did get. You do however have Old Man Logan, and this is the one I always run on him, available via the Shield Depot, and here is the recolouring of it as well, I do prefer the base one. But there we go, that is all the costumes and how you unlock them. If you made it to the end, I'm exceptionally impressed because I actually struggled to make it to the end myself. This took me almost a whole day to actually record. So, as always, anyway, I hope it was helpful. Bear in mind there are timestamps below if you want to jump to any section to check them out if you need a little refresh. And thanks for tuning in, stay safe, and I'll see you all again soon.